It's a rivalry as old as time, Tesla versus Volkswagen. It's not exactly news that Tesla has transformed the auto industry, designing cars for the future when traditional automakers could barely look away from the rearview mirror. It knows all about being a market disruptor, but now it might be on the receiving end of that. This $24,000 EV from Volkswagen might just be Tesla's reckoning. Now, let's not jump the gun. After all, VW is still playing catch-up to Tesla in the EV market, and they remain behind in critical aspects, including software. They were also severely burned by their diesel emission scandal in 2015, where the Environmental Protection Agency found that the company had rigged its diesel vehicles to cheat emissions tests in the U.S. Last year, Tesla sold just under 500,000 EVs, while VW sold about 422,000. So in terms of all EV car sales, Tesla had a 23% global market share last year, which was more than double VW's measly 11%. And it seems like those numbers will only grow in Tesla's favor, since they recently announced their $25,000 EV, which will come hardware ready for Level 5 autonomous driving. Level 5 autonomy, as you might know, requires zero human attention. It seems that the car won't even have a steering wheel or acceleration and brake pads. But to be fair, it's still in testing phase and we might not get it for some time. Which brings us to the new Volkswagen ID Life. Volkswagen chief executive Herbert Diess has long been planning to dominate the European market for EVs, and last year, he promised to fund its EV platform with $41 billion, intending to release 70 models of purely battery-powered cars by 2030. In September 2020, he hosted Elon Musk for a test drive of the ID3 when Musk was visiting Germany, and three months later, Diess opened a Twitter account, which was pretty much a hint at what's to come. Elon Musk is pretty popular on Twitter often sharing the latest news concerning Tesla and SpaceX on there, which makes his fans feel connected. So Dees is clearly hoping to use its tech-savvy credentials as it appeals to a younger crowd of tech aficionados, which is Tesla's primary audience. But it might still take Dees time to hop into meme culture. The VW chief executive took another page from the Musk playbook and hosted VW's very first Power Day event to update investors and the public on their battery plans. At the event, Dees promised six new gigafactories. The neon electrified presentation even featured the sort of axis light chart that FT Alphaville had enjoyed so much from the Tesla in the past. Oh, but this was just the beginning. Tuesday brought Volkswagen's Investor Day, where Dees revealed that the company would deliver 1 million EVs and hybrid cars in 2021, which would be five times the sales in 2020. But enough with the numbers, there was some big news too. Volkswagen revealed their super affordable $24,000 EV in the Munich Auto Show this month, and it looks like it has a crossover-like body that resembles the Mini Cooper a lot. It has an impressive 230 horsepower, allowing you to go from 0 to 60 in just 6.9 seconds. A 57 kilowatt hour battery gives you about 250 miles of range, and all that is packed into a simple, minimalistic design incorporating natural and recycled materials. For example, the paint clear coat uses wood chips, and the tires use natural rubber and rice husks. You have cameras instead of interior and exterior mirrors, and a one-touch display in the center controls nearly all the vehicle functions. You can navigate when you connect a smartphone, and you can also attach a video game console and a projector so you can keep yourself entertained while the car is parked and charging up. The car is set to come out in 2025 which would be around the same time Tesla manages to finish its $25,000 EV. It doesn't altogether knock Tesla out of the game, but it does mean it will be harder for Tesla to enter the European market. But we'll get to that in a second. There's still a lot to unpack about this car. For example, how does Volkswagen plan to compete with Tesla's software and batteries? Practically speaking, Volkswagen is years behind Tesla's software and battery know-how, which, as I'm sure you'll agree, are the most critical aspects of an EV. And that gap will only grow bigger with Tesla's new 4680 cell batteries, which can provide 619 miles or 996 kilometers. What's more, it charges up in 15 minutes, 
and has a longer life than other batteries, lasting for over 2 million miles if you take good care of it. Because of these innovations, despite losing its top spot in Europe, Tesla will still be the most profitable EV ever. Volkswagen's ID3 didn't get off to a good start, since it was plagued with glitches and production delays. Plus, it was rushed to meet the EU's emission guidelines. But VW has since addressed these issues, and how they plan to provide over-the-air updates like Tesla does at a frequency of every three months. As a result, VW will soon have a fully networked fleet of over 500,000 vehicles on the road in the next two years. The truth is, no other car maker has taken on the EV initiative better than Volkswagen. Where most other legacy car makers are resisting the change or making the smallest efforts on their hybrid and EV models, VW's ID family of cars seems to be performing incredibly well, with the company even offering specific models for specific markets to keep things fresh. Even if VW is trying to catch up to Tesla on the software and battery front, it still has a wide and stable network, immense brand power, and a loyal customer base around the globe. VW's early success in the EV market in Europe is actually thanks to conservative customers who don't want to jump to adopt new technology, but stick to well-known legacy car makers who won't let them down. Early adopters who love the very latest thing in the market and would camp out all night for the new iPhone greatly help innovators like Tesla and Neo. But did you know they only make up to 5 to 10% of the market? 90% of the market is made up of people who want a car that's safe and doesn't give them problems in the long run. I mean, who can argue with that? So taking over shouldn't be a challenge. You see why Tesla would have a hard time breaking into the market now? Even if their Berlin Gigafactory came up, which is due to go into full operation by the end of this year, the fact remains that it's a Tesla vehicle. It's uncharted territory for conservative buyers. Plus, Tesla could see more setbacks in the future. They recently expanded their full self-driving software to 2,000 Tesla owners, but some of them have had their access to that feature revoked because they weren't paying enough attention to the road and there have been a few accidents too. And if you're thinking, well, Tesla still has the superior battery, we have some news for you. VW still might have the edge over Tesla because they've placed a big bet on next-gen lithium-ion batteries. Way back in 2012, the German company invested in a Silicon Valley startup called QuantumScape Corporation, which is working on solid-state batteries that will increase driving range by 50% and reduce charging times to 15 minutes, just like Tesla. We won't see this battery until 2025 either, so it looks like that will be the biggest year of EVs yet. Volkswagen is obviously determined to dominate EVs like it has dominated internal combustion engines. In fact, on Tuesday, it stated its goal of becoming the world's top EV maker by 2025. That's not a long way away, so we can expect the company to charge as hard as possible to fulfill this ambition. As part of that campaign, VW has some rather aggressive plans to roll out their new models. The ID3 hatchback, which hit showrooms last year, will be followed by the ID4 SUV and ID5 crossover this year. There's a seven-seater ID6 in the works too which will go on sale in China this year. But whether they will push Tesla out of the race remains to be seen, since VW isn't so popular in the American market. And let's not forget that they also cater to very different audiences. Teslas are marketed as higher-end cars, while VW is focused on appealing to the mass market. They aren't so much about cool cars as they are about practical ones. If you really think about it, for both companies to dominate the EV market, they need to become more like the other. Volkswagen needs to quickly upgrade its software capabilities, and Tesla would benefit from the German company's ability to churn out millions upon millions of high-quality cars every year. For now, VW's customer loyalty and affordability just might be the thing to give them an edge. What do you think? Can Volkswagen really beat Tesla this year? Or do you think Elon Musk has a few tricks up his sleeve? Tell us in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more tech content. Thanks for watching.